Hi everyone, welcome back. For today's Manny, we're going to be dipping into dip powders from Mac and Beauty. We're going to shake things up a bit. We're going to be pulling in a lot of different elements today on a set of press-ons on the Shape Short Coffin. We're also going to be using dip liquids to start out this Manny. We're going to start out today with a beautiful, it kind of reminds me of like a whole bunch of diamonds that were grounded up and then we're left with this beautiful powder that we're going to be dipping into first. And this color right here is called Free to Sparkle. And the, from the coverage to the sparkle, this is definitely a unique and beautiful must-have color for your collection. Check it out. It has the most gorgeous like crystal diamond finish and the color is everything. Now you could totally get away with one dip like you see here, but we're definitely going to build it up to two to give it that full just like fine glitter blingy potential that it has to offer and we're just gently pressing everything down we are using dip liquids today and you're going to get a good feel on how these dip liquids perform today plus we're going to be doing a little bit of kind of like a tie-dyed ombre effect we're going to be playing with a really fun glitter to create some nail art so we're doing a really fun not only is this like perfect for memorial day kind of style Manny, but this is also going to be a great idea for you to pull in some of these elements today for a 4th of July set as well. So that is what we're going to be doing today. So the first thing right now is we are dipping into Free to Sparkle. So let's dive into that beautiful color and see it in all its glory and action. And then I'm going to pop back in in just a few moments when it's time to start that really fun tie-dyed ombre. <laughs> Every guy I've met, we fell in love at a bad time. Getting insecure, questioning myself on the way down. Now I'm so tired of. Now it's time to incorporate some more pops of color to this set. We're going to pull in a blue and a red. We're also going to be pouring a little bit of Fruit of Sparkle in a cupcake liner there. I only poured a little bit because I did not want to contaminate 
any of that beautiful powder with the process that we're doing right now. So I applied a layer of the dip base and now I'm taking a fluffy brush right now and we are diving into the first color and I am just tapping the color on the nail kind of just sporadically. I want to kind of create a ombre but yet a tie-dye effect at the same time. These colors are so fun to play with. I love the sparkle. I mean, we we are playing with a full-blown sparkle powders today, and I really like how that red, it's still red, but it does carry in more of like a subtle kind of a sparkle. So for 4th of July or even Memorial Day, whatever look you're going to be incorporating these colors for or pulling in your own colors and using this for inspo, these colors scream 4th of July because of the sparkle that it has to offer. It's giving you almost like that firework kind of style mani here with just like that gorgeous shimmery fine sparkle. So we're just filling in all those areas here. I'm going to go back in with the red and you can see here we now pulled in all those colors. So to tap off the nail, I'm going to tap off away from the cupcake liners to make sure we are keeping those colors as pure as possible here and this is what we're working with now right here i still have a little bit of dip base so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and just dip this nail directly into the blue here just to focus on the area that did um, not have any powder on it here and then we're just going to go ahead and just gently press everything down and then we have this really fun just like tie-dyed effect here that is screaming red, white, and blue. You could do this with tons of other colors too. It's just a really fun way to add some more pops of color to your set. You could do this on one nail and have it be like an accent nail, um, but or you could do a whole set. Options are endless. So we are dusting off here, and you can see here that that color did fade away a little bit, and that is completely normal with that first coat after you went ahead and dusted off. So we're gonna build up this color even more with one more coat here. So I'm applying a layer of that dip base. This time I'm gonna start with the red here. This red is so beautiful. This red would be great on its own if you love reds. This is a great red and I love the name. It's called Little Miss Firecracker. The name is just so adorable to me. And then we're gonna go back in with this gorgeous blue and then we're always gonna finish up with that beautiful white. But this is all we're doing today for that ombre. It's super easy. It's a little bit different than focusing on two colors and doing like a horizontal or a vertical. This is gonna give you some more dimension and pops of color. And then we are gonna go ahead and just gently press everything down. And then we're gonna do this exact same thing on another nail. All right, so let's continue this beautiful, fun tie-dye process. And then I'm gonna pop back in in just a little bit when it's time to play with a really fun glitter called Bubbly.
you want a house in Malibu. Now that we're done wrapping up the tie-dye nails, I'm gonna go back to that first nail. I feel like that red is just a little bit too bright and kind of just is not blending or flowing with the other colors. So I'm gonna tap a little bit of that Frida Sparkle right onto that nail and then I'm gonna pick up some of the other sparkle that is left behind here on my desk and we're just gonna go ahead and tap that onto the areas there just to pull in a little bit more sparkle on that red. I just feel like that red needed a little touch of sparkle just to kind of just tie everything together. And I'm so glad I did that because it kind of completed the whole look for me. So we're just going to gently press that all down here. And then we are completely done with the tie dyed nails after this. And now we're moving on to bubbly. Now bubbly you can use as a dip powder itself but I'm gonna pull some of the elements out. There are these really fun ring-shaped glitters in here that are just so fun and unique, and I felt like that'd be a really fun way to incorporate some more dimension and kind of a little bit, just a funner style Manny today by playing with these glitters here. So right now I am applying some of these circular glitters to the nail. There's no, I'm just kind of figuring out the design right now. I don't really have like, a vision in mind. I just know I want to incorporate these somehow. So I was like, we're going to play with a lot of different things today from that ombre tie-dye thing here that we just did. And we're going to play with these. So we're doing a lot today. So I realized I didn't want to play with the smaller piece of glitter, at least on this nail right here. So now I'm just carefully removing that one smaller piece here. And we're going to focus on these bigger rings right here and we're going to overlap them so they kind of look like they're kind of connected but they are so fun so this is the look that we're going for for the thumbnail and then to make sure that these are laying really flat i'm going to take a little bit of dip base and just apply it to the top of that those glitter pieces and just really make sure i am getting those exactly where i want them and then i'm going to use the flat side of that cuticle pusher for that orange wood stick and just really make sure that those circular pieces are laying super flat and i will say i ordered circular glitter pieces from amazon and they were not this thin they were almost nearly impossible to even to get like flat to the nail. I even tried like curving them and I still was having issues. They were like very thick. These ones are very thin and they are just almost becoming one with the nail. So they're very thin, they're not thick and they're just, they're the perfect color. They're almost like, I mean, the name is bubbly. So that is probably why they are like this beautiful champagne gold color. I feel like you can do so many things with this from different art styles like we're doing right now. So that thumbnail, we only use three, but on this middle nail, I had so much fun placing them. I kind of got a little carried away. I kind of just put a whole bunch on this nail and I am not regretting it. I love it so much. I feel like this beautiful champagne gold color that we have going on here too really just complements that beautiful white background that we have that is giving us like that crushed diamond effect. So I just feel like these colors together are just everything. And I love these circular glitters. They're really fun. This would be really fun for summer as well. Kind of incorporating like an under the sea kind of style Manny. I mean, options are endless. So now that I went ahead and I applied these circular glitters to the nail, you will notice that I have not went back in with the dip base yet. So that is a good indicator on the dry time of these liquids. So if you are someone who likes to hand place glitters or do any extra nail art, these are really great liquids to have because you're going to be able to do a lot of different glitter placement and nail art with these dip liquids because they're not that like extreme fast dry time. I will say when you are using them and dipping into the powder, and doing a full coverage dip. They are a quick dry time, but you do have a little bit of leeway here when you are applying and hand placing glitters. All right, so same thing. We applied some dip base directly on top of those circles here just to give it a little extra barrier of protection. And now I'm just finalizing the setting of where I want these circles to be. And I just love how like that overlapping look is just it's just like melting my whole heart and i also did make sure that those glitter pieces were laying flat with that flat end of the orange wood stick i just cut that out just to save some time now we're moving on to the pinky nail here so this one for me i was i know i wanted to focus on the larger circles because that was like the whole kind of look we were going for today and I was like, I don't know where I want to place these. So I like that I have with this dip base, I like that I have 
this option right here to move around these glitters freely so I can get a good visual to see how I want these glitters to lay. So that is definitely something that I do enjoy with these liquids. And even if you aren't a dip liquid fan or you have like your ride or die, but you always have to go in with your dip liquids when you're playing with nail art, definitely just pick up this dip base and just use it for any glitter placement or nail art because it is a game changer. It's not stressful. Um, you don't have to like worry about like rushing to beat the clock because you know it's going to dry and you do have that wiggle room to just move around those glitters freely. All right. So now I was like, I kind of want to place some more glitters on here. I know. So we're going to go ahead and add a little design here at the tip of the nail as well. And then we're going to be almost done here in just a minute, but these circular glitters are really fun. Definitely recommend. Again, like I said before, I tried circular glitters in the past and they just were too thick and these are very thin and they almost become one with the nail almost all right so we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of dip base on that area of the glitter as well just to give it a little bit of extra protection here and just using that flat part of the orange wood stick and then we're going to go ahead and clear encapsulate everything i'm only going to show you this one nail here just to save time because we spent a lot of time today doing some fun dabbling into some like fun artsy kind of side of things today all right, so the clear encapsulation, we are using the Pure Diamond Clear from Madkin Beauty. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to spend some time pressing everything down, just like the same method I do when I am using any dip powder with dip liquids or the gel method. And I'm really making sure all that dip liquid is absorbed before we move on to the activator. And then we're going to go ahead and activate each nail. And the activation process, especially on these circular glitters, was pretty magical because you could see this beautiful like rose gold shine just like come to life. Now for filing and buffing, filing and buffing was surprisingly very, very easy when it came to these circular glitters. Like my mind is kind of blown at the moment. So right now I'm just taking this file and really working underneath that press on, making sure we have a clean surface. So then we have a smooth application when it's time to apply. Then I'm taking this buffer file. I love the buffer file. I feel like I have more control when it comes to buffing versus using like a little orange block because this buffer file is the same like size as like a regular file. So I feel like you have a little bit more control. So filing and buffing, we did not cut into any of those circular glitters, which I was super shocked by. And then we just cleaned up the rest of that nail and I did the rest of the filing and buffing off camera. And then even though we are gonna seal it in with a layer of gel top coat, I'm still gonna go in with a layer of activator that's gonna get rid of any filing and buffing lines. And then any powders that we may disrupted during that filing and buffing process are gonna be sealed back in. So I was completely, completely blown away that I did not cut into any of those circular glitters, especially on that middle nail, because we, we, we stacked so many of those circular glitters together but they stayed true to color. So I finished the rest of the top coat off camera and here's what we're working with. It's overall a really fun set. I had so much fun playing with new things, like playing with those circular glitters, having fun pulling in color to do this like tie-dye ombre. And then we played with a really beautiful must-have beautiful glitter called Free to Sparkle on three of those nails. So we did a lot today and today was more of like, let's play with different elements and pull them all together just to create a fun set. Sometimes you need to do nails or sets that just like speak to you and just have fun with it. At the end of the day, they're nails and you could always change it up, but this is just a fun set. And I really feel like those circles really just bring a lot of dimension and just like a pop of art to the nail as well. So overall, so much fun. So everything that we did use in today's video can always be found in that description box below. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in the next one.